Okay, once again, the infamous little finger. Now, this is olivine and phosphorites and uh, garnets. and I mean, there's all kinds of crystal structures going on in here. You can see it's, uh, it's very interesting. Now, if you took this and you crushed this over hundreds of millions and possibly even billions of years under depths and temperatures, there's still organics in here. There's still things that can, can, can come out of here. And you'll end up with carbon, which is diamonds, and, and some garniferous materials embedded within it, and some olivines and so forth. I, I would think that's what I would expect. And just what? That's exactly what you have here with this Russian diamond. Now, this is a, uh, a diamond sound found somewhere um, in Russia. A, there was an article about it, and I noticed it. And, whoops, excuse me. This, this falls exactly into my research. And this particular cluster of diamonds, and there's supposedly 30,000 small diamonds, and they're about the size of a grain of sand or something apparently they're saying and that is very similar to what a cell is a, a little bigger perhaps than a cell uh, but anyway these are, are um, a se cells in the body are separate little everybody knows what a cell is in the body and they separate from each other and they're little carbon bags actually they're, they're uh, fatty lipids and they're they have a hydrocarbon structure and the carbon is the last thing to sublimate off and you end up with diamonds on the very very deep 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 high pressures there's this certain things that have to happen to make it this occur and their temperature time uh, the different types of percolates in the soil uh, and I believe this also has to do with electricity in the soils and the amount of of speed of percolation, the platy silicates that are um, uh, dominant in the soils, the different types of chemical um, components that are percolating through these things that are have certain affinities to to ionic materials that are in organic materials. At any rate, inside of this this cluster of diamonds is is some garniferous material. You can see the red, and, and, and I'm sure that's primarily the garniferous material. And there's olivines, which are normally sort of greenish looking, I, that type of thing, dark, very dark greenish colors. And, and then you have little diamonds and so forth. And there's a bunch of other things in there. And I'm sure they're all chemicals of life, the, the last chemicals of life to percolate out, the metals and so forth. And this is exactly what I would anticipate to happen if a structure such as this, and I believe this is that fascia, and it's, I believe this right here is that fascia attachment. And the reason you see a lot of garniferous material in this area is because that's a, a, a blood area. Now, I don't know what you know that there's lungs fascia and the, all the bones and organs and everything invests itself with fascia and in this particular architectural flap now i'm not saying this is for sure what it is i have no clue all i'm doing is looking at it and it exactly goes with my research that would predict this as a result of life and the thing is that all these people, and I've, been, I've talked with somebody about this that was involved with this, and they're so scared that this could be from life, they don't, they, they stop communicating. Because, you know, the first words out of their mouth is, uh, if you're a creationist, go away. I'm not a creationist, I'm a, I'm a realist. This is a reality zone here, buddy. Let's think about what you're looking at and think about the alternative possibilities we, we, you know as a matter of fact I, I, the, the same guy I think said oh this is a strange one indeed well indeed no not indeed this is exactly what it should be if you can come to a place out of the comfort of your mind it, it allows you to, to examine reality and that's not happening in, in the academic world and I'm, I'm gonna gonna push this to make sure that everybody understands that this is reality and they have to address reality and if they have no other explanation for an obvious completely obvious 
result. But they can't accept the starting point because they have some philosophy against it. That's just not right. That's a de denial of reality, and that's ignoring reality. That's ignorance. Ignoring is ignore ants. And we just can't allow that because it's just being ignored. So I want answers to these things, and I, the people that have the answers have the machines and the equipment to answer, and they refuse to even communicate with me because they're so scared that this is something that's going to destroy their world. And, you know, I can't disagree with them, but they've been, you know, a lot of these people have been writing papers. They're really just literally fantasies of how these things flocculate back together and smectites and all of these crazy things that they've come up with to uh, account for life. And the life, it just does it exactly perfect. So you got to look at these things in, in, a, in a real sense. And that's what I'm asking for. All right, this is the part in the, um, that, that, that talks about the cell membrane. And again, it eliminates the cell from everything else. And it completely separates it. So they're encapsulated and there's a, they creates a layer of physiality. And it's a dual, cell, dual wall thing. Uh, here's a chemical composition. Main building blocks of all membranes are lipids, proteins, glycoproteins, lipoproteins, water, and ions. It's like virtually car carbon and hydrogen. Lipids are the most abundant. And here's a, they have a, a hydrocarbon tail. That's what they are, a single hydrocarbon tail. And, and so there's a ton of hydrocarbons in here. And, and they eventually cook the contents out of them. And that's, these are all talks about all the different things and the ions and all this business, and that's the chemical composition of most of the ions. All right, this is about the injuries to cell membranes because that's exactly what causes this situation of um, fossilization. Um, it says here, some integral proteins extend through both layers. It's a dual layer thing, transmembrane proteins. Many of these are glycoproteins with surface carbohydrate units, carbon, hydrogen. The cell membrane is the site of sodium ion pump, which maintains cell volume by pumping sodium ions out of the cells. There's a whole, you can read this whole thing. Membrane from the structural organization, yada, yada, yada. The whole deal is, is that this cell membrane is a virtual carbon sack. And it's completely encased. And when, and this little things come in and out, it works with things. But it's mostly carbon and hydrogen and some other stuff, I'm sure. But um, when you die, well, I'm going to go through the what, what are the three main mechanisms. But when you die, they, the contents of these cells gas off. And when they do, they explode. And when they do, they leave the bag open. 